Okay, so here it is, the next video in this series on how to practically improve your art. And it's a focus on uh, how you can do things that are both easy and affordable to improve your art. So in the last video we talked about color combinations, and in this video we're going to discuss paint selection and setting up a palette. The palette is both the physical mixing tray and the set of colors used. Paint selection is, of course, a completely personal thing. I've tried several setups myself, but I've learned that something simple always works best. It's also really easy to duplicate each time. So give me around five colors and I'm happy. When purchasing paint, make sure you buy artist quality if you can afford it. Those of you who think you can't afford it, let me tell you how. When you limit the number of colors that you buy, you make it easier to afford the more expensive paint because you're buying less. Paint makers know this and they purposefully try to offer many different colors. But if you look at the pigment information, you often see a set of colors that are mixed from the same pigments. So basically what the paint manufacturer has done is they've gone and offered different paints when you could have bought maybe two and now they're trying to sell you five. So, uh, you know, <laughs> shop with care. Um, as far as uh, paint manufacturers go, Grumbacker, Holbein, Sennelier, Windsor & Newton all offer reasonable products, artist products, uh, that means not Winton, at reasonable prices. So you don't need to use only one brand on your palette. You can use different ones. You can use Grumbacker, Newton, Holbein, Sennelier, all these uh, paints can be mixed. It's not really a problem. And uh, what I'm talking about specifically is oil paints. It is important for acrylic paints also to get artist quality paints. Okay, so uh, just remember that novice painters leave reviews and generally the novice painters leave reviews on the cheapest products and usually their reviews are the most favorable because they've not tried any other products so the heat preys on things. Keep that in mind when you look at Windsor & Newton products. I'm not saying Windsor & Newton is a bad brand. I actually use some of it myself, but the reviews are overhyped. So there are a number of master painters out there who use specific palettes and uh, I prefer a broad range of possibilities. That means if I want to mix a color, I better not be limited by my palette. There's a lot of painters out there who use specific palettes, say a Zorn palette for instance, that limits the colors that you can produce. Now Zorn was not the first one to use the palette that's attributed to his name, but let's not go there. Uh, let's talk instead about primaries. And uh, if you watch the last thing on color, you know that basically with three primaries, yellow, blue, and red, we can mix any other color. Uh, pure primaries deliver the widest range of colors and for that reason I prefer Thalo Blue, uh, Cadmium Red Medium, uh, alternatives by brand of course, you know. The Cadmiums, uh, th they're toxic, but as long as you wash your hands it's, uh, it's really not a big deal. Um, and Cadmium Yellow Light, uh, also alternatives. And they vary by brand, uh, you just have to kind of experiment. And if you use a, a, a white, like titanium white, you're good to go, you know, you can mix practically any color. For truly neutral blacks though, you should use a Mars black. And uh, avoid ivory black, which is a very blue black, so you will get greens when mixed with yellow, essentially. Um, and we can extend the palette some too. For instance, Viridian is really excellent when mixing cool greens and grays. If you're a seascape painter, uh, give Viridian a try, you'll really be impressed with it. And uh, Burnt Sienna works very well, along with Viridian, to make blacks and such things. Viridian also works great with uh, Cadmium Red to make blacks. But uh, Burnt Sienna really is a wonderful color for landscapes or anything where you want to tone down greens, mix browns, that sort of thing. It's a, uh, it's a kind of an uh, orangey color and, and really helps. Lastly, Buying online is usually best. Sorry, Michaels. Uh, Jerry's Artarama or Dick Blick are great sources for paint. 
Canvas, you can't go wrong buying in the store when you have a coupon because you know you're gonna pay shipping. But the paints, when you pay shipping and, and you put it out over the whole thing, you're saving a ton of money. But be careful. Don't buy from eBay or Amazon since there's no assurance of the quality of that paint and if you don't like the paint, where will you return it? If you buy from someone like Jerry's or Dick Blick, you're going to get good quality paint and if you have any trouble, they're going to offer you a return policy. I've had paint separation before and, you know, returning was no problem. Uh, so the paint does come in different size tubes also and you'll see price differences. So if you look at just the price, uh, you're not looking at the whole thing. If you look at things such as, uh, if you see a color that says maybe cadmium red and you see one that says cadmium red shade, the difference is the one without shade is the actual pigment. The one that says shade is a, a artificial or substitute pigment and the, the reason manufacturers do that is because some pigments like the cadmiums are are very expensive to produce so they do offer alternatives and that will lower the price also but sometimes the color isn't quite right so sizes of tubes generally 37 millimeters excuse me milliliters are small and adequate for strong tinters like Thalo Blue and uh, you, you can check the manufacturers offer information on how strong of a tinter the pigment is and uh, you, you can also look for the larger tubes. Some manufacturers offer even 200 milliliter tubes which are very large and will last a long time. So, just to recap, buy artist quality paint. You can spread the cost of those paints over a long time. You're going to use less paint than if you buy worse uh, quality paint and you're going to get a better painting out of it. Then go ahead and go for the primaries I really recommend the primary palette it works very well you can mix anything you want and you're not limited plus you buy less paint only three primaries works great and then last but not least buy online buy online uh, avoid things like eBay or Amazon go for a, a art retailer that's it happy painting